Hello, everybody. This is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. I wanted to show you guys a few things that I'm going to be sending into PCGS. Uh, this is going to be like the before you receive them back. So just stuff I want to ship in. Uh, it's going to be in a few days when I send out a real order for that. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just a few coins that I thought were pretty neat. Um, some stuff I'll be sending regular, some stuff I'll be sending econ. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, let's start it up. Hello, everybody. I wanted to show you guys a few things that we are going to be submitting here to PCGS shortly. Got a nice group of stuff. Um, most of it's going to be kind of, I don't know, it depends, like, would you submit it kind of regular or economy, stuff like that. But let's, well, let me show you guys kind of what I've been stacking up as of lately. So this, uh, let me see if it comes into focus here. So this is a 1967 uh, Kennedy half dollar. Um, the toning on it's pretty gorgeous. That's why I liked it. Um, I got it from Paul. Um, if you ever work with Paul, um, I'll kind of I'll put his tag down in the description below. He's a really cool guy. But I was offered this coin. Um, there's fingerprints on it, which kind of lowers the grade, which kind of makes sense for them putting it 64 in an annex holder. Um, but this coin's really, really beautiful. I even like the fingerprint. It's just because it has those greens and reds in the fingerprint. I think it's pretty cool. It's got those blues and purples and green. I mean, I don't know. It's just a beautiful coin. Um, stuff like this is just kind of out of the ordinary, and I kind of like it. Uh, flip it over to the reverse. It's really ugly, and it has all these fingerprints on it, which kind of makes sense. So I'm going to try to see what I can do with the reverse and maybe dip it and see what happens. Um, and dipping is not a, a bad thing. Dipping is just kind of to help the coin and remove some issues with it without damaging the coin um, but this is a pretty cool first coin to show off for you guys i hope it comes back you know maybe 65 or 66 that would be pretty decent but let's move on to more of the raw stuff i'm actually going to crack that kennedy out but here's the the next coin that i wanted to show you guys this is a 1964 kennedy half dollar and when i see it like when i put it under uh, you know a loop or anything else um, I don't see any hits like it's very very nice um, when I turn over the backside there's some dings on the shield um, but I wanted to make a run at PCGS maybe if I can get in a 67 holder that would be pretty nice um, I like the color a little bit on here um, it kind of adds a little bit of flavor to it um, but if we can get in a 7 holder that would be amazing uh, I think that's what I think it's a few hundred bucks maybe 500 bucks something like that um, but it's just a really, really nice coin. My brother picked it up for like 12 bucks at a show. And most big guys kind of overlook this type of stuff. So if you can get something in a 7 holder, or at least try to attempt to make something in a 7 holder, uh, you'll be doing pretty good. So, But most of the stuff on the face is kind of toning lines. I didn't see any brush marks. I didn't see any dings. I didn't see anything that would kind of obstruct the, the path from getting it to a higher grade or a 7. Um, let me kind of zoom in on this. But there is a little bit of like a dot right here in the fields. Um, and I'm still trying to kind of look at it and see what uh, that that might do to the grade. Um, but overall, it's a nice coin. Uh, if it doesn't come back the way I want it, that's okay. You know, it, I'll probably make my money back of what I spent on it, maybe 50 bucks if I'm lucky, and move on to the next coin. But if I have a chance at making, you know, a few hundred bucks, 400 bucks, and that'd be something that'd be worth my time. So this is a good contender for something to submit to PCGS. Now I'll be moving into the next coin. This coin also needs maybe a dip to it. This is a Colombian half dollar um, from 1893 or two. I have to double check. It's uh, from 1893. Um, this coin, it's like a PL. I mean, it's a really, really nice kind of PL feel to it. Uh, I'm still kind of debating. I don't really know if it's clean or not. I kind of see this, these brush marks up here, but nothing that kind of shoots onto the head. So it could just be, uh, you know, a different issue or something. I don't know. I'm still trying to research and figure this coin out. It's just kind of perplexing to me. Um, but it's something I do want to submit, irregardless, to see kind of what is happening with it. Um, it looks like a PL all day long. Um, so I'd love to know what you guys think of this coin. Uh, it would help, you know, help me figure out what to do with it. 
Um, you know, you just see a lot of, lot of hairlines, a lot of issues, kind of, I don't know if it's issues, but maybe, maybe a lot of, I don't know, circulation. It's just, it's a perplexing coin, but I bought it at a show and I've still yet to submit it. So maybe I need a dip. It may not, I don't know, but let me know what you guys think below on this coin. So the next coin I wanted to show you is a toner. Uh, this is an, I don't really mess with these too much, but this is a, 1987 uh, ASC. So this is something I was I really liked when someone sent it to me. Uh, it came right from the original like little envelope that they would put these coins in. So it has been messed with um, and tarnishing or toning, whatever you want to call it, has been happening ever since uh, they was put in that. And I really do just like the originality of it, the story of it. I bought it um, from a guy on Instagram. Uh, it's just a really nice coin. I'm kind of wanting to get maybe a high grade. I'm thinking more of a 67, 68 for this coin. Just not a lot of issues with it. It hasn't really seen the light of day. But, I mean, I think it's just a beautiful coin. I've seen many of these straight grade before. And, I don't know, it's worth a shot. And, I don't know, it's something of a variety, right? So I do mainly do a lot of Morgans and a lot of older stuff. But when I can get my hands on something like this, I always like to try it out and see what happens. So... Very interesting coin. Let me just show off the obverse one more time to you. Um, you know, and I don't know, it just, I like messing with this stuff and I like seeing what will happen if I send it to PCGS. Most of the time, if you send this stuff to NGC, they would uh, artificially tone it and, and put it on the, in the holder and then send it back to you. But PCGS is a little bit more lenient. So if you ever do find something like this, I would definitely send it to PCGS or at least ask a few collectors or dealers what their thought is on it. Next, we are going to be showing off a little Mercury Dime. So, earlier I was talking about uh, regular versus economy. This is something I probably would do economy. Um, it's got like this really, really nice uh, rainbow band around the whole entire reverse of the coin. Um, it's probably like a Min State 64 or 5 in all reality. But, I don't know, I, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, just this oddball stuff I kind of like messing with sometimes. Um, so when a kid comes by the, the booth or a kid comes to my Instagram and says, hey, can I buy a coin from you? Sometimes I can offer him something that's like 50 bucks, you know, or 60 bucks. And it's something that's a unique post for Instagram. You know, I could throw up the trivia first and then a video. But stuff like this, I kind of like messing around with sometimes and, you know, seeing what happens with it. You know, sometimes just a, it's a Russian roulette of sorts. But the last coin I wanted to show you guys today Actually, there's a few more, but here's a Franklin half dollar we kind of picked up in um, picked up in a coin shop. So this coin is on the verge of environmental damage. It might even be environmental damage, uh, but it's a 1949. I think it's an S. No, it's a D. It's a 1949 D uh, with environmental damage, possibly. But if it does get into a 65 holder, uh, FBL. I think it has a shot at FBL. Let me kind of zoom in on the lines here. But if it has a shot at FBL, um, at PCGS, I'm going to try to do that. Um, I think it has a shot, though, for sure. But if it 65 FBLs, it'll be a pretty nice coin. I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's 100 bucks or more. Uh, maybe even, I think 64 FBL is 100 bucks. But I think this is like a couple hundred dollar coin in 65 FBL. So... I don't think it's on the verge of being uh, environmental damage, but I kind of think it'll have a shot. So I wanted to send this one in, see what it came back as. You know, if it goes environmental damage, you know, I only spent like 75 bucks kind of putting in a holder. So I might get like, I might lose like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. But if it comes back 65 FBL or 64 FBL, then we're talking some decent money, making some, some odds and ends there. So uh, it's a pretty interesting coin. Now I'm going to show you a group of uh, PSI, you know, yeah, it's PSI holders. Um, I'll just break them up individually in a second. But the PCI holders, um, I'm going to show just one off for the video. But uh, Booker T's are pretty hard to, to find toned. I, I bought these for like a, uh, it's like a little affordable price, and so I'm probably going to econ these. I'll probably get anywhere between like a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit more for them once they're in PCGS holders. 
So I'll probably spend 30 bucks in economy and what I have into them, which is probably like uh, 30, 40 bucks. And they'll come back, just like I said, a unique coin. Stuff with toning kind of uh, adds value to it. So, uh, you know, if I run it at PCGS, make 30, 40 bucks, um, uh, it'll be a good day, you know. And so uh, I wanted to econ all these. Let me show off another one. Uh, this one actually might need help, but um, I kind of wanted to show and send these off. And kind of get the PCGS true views and see what uh, is going on with these coins. There's this black dot here, which I'm concerned about. Might need to see if I can do anything about it to correct that in terms of conservation. Um, but overall, just stuff I can send off. Uh, fill fill an order. Um, here's one that's a little bit more terminal, but it has like this really deep green. So once it is in the proper light, photograph correctly, and it kind of has this rainbow blue here as well. Um, these coins will be really beautiful in a PCGS holder, and I don't know, it's worth a shot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, just to giving you an insight of what I normally send in uh, as a dealer, just stuff that um, some stuff's out of the ordinary, some stuff I can sell easily, just things that I like to test the water on and start to learn more about different series, like the uh, commemorative half dollars or mercury dimes or different toning patterns. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please leave a like, uh, comment what you think, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.